Here's the big one. This is the last award yeah. of this year. What is the hi-fi product of the year? The one <laughs> you, that is you probably King of the Kings. guessed this when I was talking about it earlier. But um, hi-fi is as much about how it makes you feel. Um, I know that there are a subset of people who use the forum, and I don't wish to demean or, you know, belittle their, their, their listening choices by, if it doesn't measure in such a way, I'm not going to enjoy it. I think the path to true happiness is perhaps taking one step back from that and accepting that your performance in room is going to be somewhat different anyway, particularly when talking about loudspeakers. This is the neat petite classic. It made me happier. It made me enjoy what I was doing. It made me want to keep listening for longer than anything else I've tested this year. And when I then took into account uh, when I was considering the other candidates, it's less than half the price of the Focal Utopia. Um, it's perhaps more mainstream appealing than the uh, Exposure 3510. It's it's just everything that modern hi-fi should be. Um, and I think that that should be celebrated to the hilt, really. It's a product that is perfectly judged for the time and place that we find ourselves in. It works with a huge variety of different amplifiers. It's not hard to drive. It's not hard to place. It's not big. Um, and then when you sit down and listen to it, it sounds big. It sounds hugely enjoyable. And I can see you buying a pair and using them until either you you cease to exist or the ability to run them cease to exist. There's no compelling reason to change them for anything else. They are just... Uh, as I say, I haven't been successfully put the review pair back in the box yet. They really need to go back to neat. And I keep finding excuses not to. And what more could you possibly ask for? Yeah.